Let's be real. Programming is not what people make it out to be. It's not just typing a few lines of code and boom, you have got a million dollar app. Programming is actually tough. It demands not only technical skills, but also a strong mindset. And that's what today's video is all about. We are breaking down the reality of programming, talking about the skills that make you a true programmer. And I'll share tips that will change how you think about programming. Stick around and by the end of this video, you will have a whole new perspective on what it really takes to excel in this field. Programming often looks easy from the outside, especially with those day in the life videos where it seems like coders work for an hour, grab a long lunch and then enjoy the rest of the day. And don't get me started on influencers saying learn this language and land a six figure job in two months. But here is the truth. Programming is so much more than typing code. Think of it this way. Coding is just the surface level. Yes, learning syntax and writing code that a computer understands is necessary. But programming goes much deeper. To be a programmer, you have to think logically, solve problems and understand how each piece fits into this bigger picture. It's like learning to cook by following recipes. Anyone can follow the steps, but if you want to be a chef, you need to understand how flavors and ingredients work together. That's the real challenge in programming, developing the mindset of a programmer. Coding tutorials teach you syntax, functions and loops, but they often skip the emotional side of programming. For example, you'll face important poster syndrome, those moments when you feel like everyone else understands code but you are struggling, late night coding sessions, coding mistakes and the feeling that maybe programming is not for you are all part of the journey. But guess what? It's totally normal. Almost every programmer goes through this phase. To develop a programmer's mindset, you need to start thinking like a developer. Let's say you learn how to create a list in Python and then print each item using a loop. Tutorials will show you that. But what if you are given a problem that asks you to find the median of the numbers in the list without using built-in function. Suddenly, you can't just rely on what the tutorial showed. You need to understand what's going on behind the scenes. It's about knowing not only what to do, but also why you are doing it. Here is an another example. Suppose you are baking a cake. You know the basic recipe, flour, sugar, eggs and butter. But what if you are out of eggs? If you understand the role of eggs, you can make substitutions. Programming works the same way. Learning the basics allows you to adapt and create your own solutions. When you truly grasp the fundamentals, you are no longer just copying and pasting code. You are crafting your own solutions from scratch, which is what makes you a problem solver. But here's the twist, the real game changer. Learn by building. I know you have heard it before, but here is why it works. When you build something, anything, maybe a simple calculator, a to do list app, or even a mini game, you are no longer just passively consuming information. You are actively putting your skills to the test. You are solving real problems, dealing with bugs and even facing unexpected challenges. And these are the exact experiences that mold you into a skill developer. So instead of relying on just tutorials, take up small projects and see where they lead you. Now let's talk about consolidating what you are learning. Have you ever tried explaining programming concepts to a friend who has no idea about coding? It sounds weird, but it actually helps you learn faster. If you can explain loops, arrays and functions in the simplest terms, like you are teaching to a 5 year old, you are going to solidify those concepts in your mind. This technique, known as the Feynman technique, forces you to break down complex ideas into a simple chunks. When you can do that, it means you truly understand what's happening under the hood. Look, mistakes are going to happen, lots of them. You will mess up code, you will hit bugs, and sometimes you will want to throw your computer out of the window. But here is the thing, every bug is a learning opportunity. When when something goes wrong, don't panic. Instead, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Seasoned developers have failed countless times. That's what got them to where they are now. So when things break, remember that it's all part of becoming a pro. Imagine if you only worked out once a month, would you expect to see results? It's the same with programming. Regular practice, even if it's just a little bit each day, goes a long way. Set aside a block of time, ideally an hour or more and dive deep into coding. That's how you are going to make meaningful progress. And don't just take to easy stuff. Push yourself, try different challenges, experiment with new projects, and keep those skills sharp. And stop comparing yourself to others. This one's huge. It's so easy to look at others and think, wow, they are way ahead of me. But the truth is, everyone learns at their own pace. Programming is not a race. The only person you should compare yourself to is the version of you from yesterday. 
focus on your progress celebrate the small wins and remember that every expert was once a beginner it's all about growth not perfection one of the biggest traps beginners fall into is tutorial hell that's when you are endlessly following tutorials but never actually building anything on your own tutorials are fantastic for learning but at some point you need to remove the training wheels take what you have learned and create something new challenge yourself to solve problems without a guide the confidence boost you will get from solving something independent independently is priceless and it will help you to escape the endless cycle of tutorials all right so let's bring it all together programming is stuck and it's completely normal to feel overwhelmed or stuck but don't let that stop you keep pushing keep building and keep learning celebrate every small step you take every error you fix and every project you complete and remember i am here for help If you need support or want more tips or just want to connect with a community of fellow learners hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey I would love to hear about your progress so don't hesitate to leave a comment with what you are working on right now